Hello and welcome back to Property Diary. My name is Tiny. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I see so many of you are now channel members. I'm so excited to do my members only lives with you guys. Everything you need to know, how to sign up for that one-to-one -one encouragement call, how to join us this Sunday in the PD Society Circle as we'll be talking about spiritual spouses. Are they holding up your marriages? Wicked things that go on in this world. Make sure that you're there. Our May word did anyone catch the May word? You have to watch the May word because it's going to let us know exactly what to expect for the rest of this month. So I would love to see you guys there. Also for this month of May, uh, what I'm going to be doing is in the mornings for our daily bread videos that you're watching now, I'll be doing one video pertaining to kingdom marriage and one video pertaining to purpose as the Lord leads me, right? Can't promise you guys every day, but as the Lord leads Today, we are going to be in Esther 2 and Esther 1. And Esther 1 says, The king and his nobles were pleased with this advice. So the king proposed. He sent dispatches to all of the kingdom, to each providence in its own script, and to each people in their own language, proclaiming that every man should be ruler over his household using his native tongue. When King Xerxes decided that, you know what, Vashni does not want to walk in divine alignment with me, it wasn't what she did that one time when she refused to come down. But that one time, let him know that, you know what, if she wouldn't come down when I asked her to, when the whole world is standing before me, how am I going to gain and build with her? How am I going to continue to move forward if she can't listen to the simplest of directions? How can I trust and when we talked about in our live yesterday, day, we talked about rebuilding. And God wants me to come to you to let you know that when you're in the rebuilding phase of your life or when you're building a kingdom such as Xerxes, you have to make sure that the test that God ran on you and ran on the people around you, that you take and you evaluate to see if they can continue to build with you. Xerxes was stepping into his authority and he said, I got to make some changes. That's you step into your authority. He had to rebuild with Esther because Esther was willing. He had to rebuild with Esther because Esther understood the importance of time and purpose. Esther had a gratitude about her because she was an orphan. Esther was able to do it because she had been humbled. She had been purified before she even went to him. He was able to rebuild with Esther because she had a relationship with God. And he knew that he could trust her advice because he knew that she was special and that she has a special anointing on her that he knew that he could build with. So as we see Xerxes deciding that I need to rebuild, I need to start over um, with some new people, some new hands. He got some advice from his boys, the ones he was already building with or those who had already built a kingdom. Make sure you're surrounded by people that's already doing it. And he said, I choose Esther because I know that she'll be able to help me build. It's time to make sure that everyone in your boat is rowing. It's time to make sure that the people around you are grateful and not intimidated by your gifts and your blessings. It's time to make sure that the people around you are not going to resist you, that they're not going to try to overthrow you, that they're not going to try to build what you are, bring what you are building down. It's time so, for some change. The Lord sent me, simply told me to send, to come here and tell you that it is time to rebuild, that it is time to get rid of those who are not. It is time to step into your authority. If you feel led to show into this word, hashtag stepping into my authority. I'm going to release a second video on Kingdom Marriage. Talk to you guys soon. Bye -bye. One